I love this site. I really do. Yeah, the shed is messy, but man, I love opening up my shed and just seeing the Roadmaster just <sighs> waiting for me, beckoning me, frightened that this fat guy will actually get on it. Recording, yeah, sort of. Okay, sort of. That's good. I should have higher standards, really. Let's start her up. Oh crap! I'm dropping stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's going to be an issue, but that's okay. We'll just. Yeah. Eh. I don't know what I'm doing. And I stopped too short. So how do I make that turn? Hmm. Well, maybe I can. Let's give it a shot here, shall we? Hey guys, Night Cruiser MA. I am on my typical road here and my phone is vibrating. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. Can't tell if I got a phone call or if it was just like a message or something. But uh, anyway, uh, so you might notice something here. Uh, you probably do. This is a new camera. I have, um, I, I kind of had to give up on the Drift Ghost. I, I really like drift and I like the drift ghost but um, there are some issues with that camera that I you know it's just hard to to see through sometimes um, you know I kind of went through that in my I love and hate the drift ghost vlog so I won't repeat it but but essentially I went with a GoPro Hero 4 Black did that for two reasons number one uh, I just you know, the, the video quality is pretty impressive. Um, I had heard things about the audio quality being very impressive as well. And I'm hoping that's the case, that it kind of self-levels and will keep it from uh, being overblown in spots. But, um, uh, you know, the downside to the GoPro is obviously the form factor. I mean, everybody's talked about that since the dawn of time. It's a, it's a brick. And um, I had to really do some thinking about how I wanted to mount it. Did I want to have it hanging off the side of my helmet? Um, did I want to, you know, chin mount it, put it on the top of my helmet? I decided to chin mount it, which on a showy helmet is not the easiest thing in the world because there's a there's a vent right there, or at least on the showy Quest that I use. And uh, so that took me, uh, you know, I, I should show a picture here of my table. <laughs> This is my, my kitchen table, and my wife was like, if you drill into that table, you're dead meat. So uh, I just kind of avoided drilling into the table, and uh, hello. And so I just avoided being killed by my wife. But, uh, you know, I had to kind of use a Dremel because when you put it in a case, I've got this in like this uh, matte black case. Uh, there's really no way of getting the microphone in there. It's a it's a bad design. Uh, one of the things I loved about the drift, I mean, really, just the fantastic thing about the drift is the form factor, and it's got plugs at the back where you can open up little doors on the back flap and put in your microphone. You can even attach a USB cable back there. You can do all that without even having to take the camera off your helmet or anything like that. And it's waterproof, or at least water resistant, so it has a lot going for it. The form factor is a lot better for a helmet. But in the end, uh, it's hard to just dismiss the quality that the GoPro gives you. 
So I've got this chin mounted and the problem that I see is that you guys are looking through a windshield uh, more often than not, or I should say at least more than you were. So, because it does sit lower. So although I'm not looking through a windshield, you guys probably are. But you do see a lot of what's around you and I think that hopefully helps to mitigate that, uh, that little downside there. As usual, I'm going to stop and get my fat guy food and, uh, and I will pick up the vlog in just a second. Good, thanks. How are you? I uh, yeah, did about a four-hour ride down to Connecticut and stuff, and got a little got a little sunburnt. Have you ever been down to Grandby and your State Forest? No. Went down there last Wednesday. Yeah. A nice ride. Really. Nice. I think I'll try that. I hiked a little bit through down through. I didn't see all the waterfalls that you know, but if you look it up online and there's falls, it's really cool. I will. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what's ironic about this is that it's 59 degrees and I'm cold in short sleeves. Now, typically in July, you're cold in short sleeves if it's 59. I mean, obviously it's not 59 in July very often, but uh, you get colder faster because you get used to, used to, <laughs> you get used to, to the, <laughs> to the warmer weather. Uh, and then when it's cold, you start to freeze. But uh, around this time in May, you know, 59 doesn't feel too bad. The problem is that I managed to get a sunburn on my arms over the weekend. Uh, went down to Connecticut with my group and uh, was out, you know, probably about four hours in the uh, in the sun. Actually five, yeah, about five hours in the sun. Um, and managed to, I, I mean, I, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can. I think you can see it from space right now, but I have managed to, it looks like I was recently microwaved is what it looks like. So, uh, that's, you know, that was kind of my own stupid fault. I, you know, as I put on Facebook, I said it, it takes about an IQ of roughly seven to know that you should put sunscreen on, uh, before you're going to go riding in the sun like that. And apparently my IQ is six. So I'm kind of dealing with that and that's making my arms kind of cold, but it still feels awfully good. Anytime you're in that first month or two of riding, oh my gosh, you'll take anything. You'll take anything. It, it could be you know, 23 degrees, and you're going, ooh, you know, it's a little bit balmy, it's not bad. Uh, that's just in the first month or two. Then I become my usual wimp, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm freezing. Um, so yeah, this new camera should be really interesting. Um, I've got a GoPro Hero 3 Plus that I have that, I think that sounded redundant, uh, but that, uh, I used that during my track days the last couple of years, or at least last year, I think. But I lost that footage when I lost my data, so I don't have that anymore. But um, I'm not sure if I can do a track day this year uh, with my wife's stuff going on. So, because uh, you got to stay overnight for that, and she certainly does. She's not going to ride in the back of a motorcycle, so um, I may just end up staying home uh, with her and not doing any overnight trips. We'll see. Um, but basically, uh, that's a you know that camera should be a pretty good backup. I, you know, I'm new. I'm kind of new to the GoPro world. I know a lot about Drift and their accessories and settings and stuff, but GoPro is kind of new to me. So, um, so we'll see how this works. I did also order a new microphone for this because uh, the one I'm using right now, I'm getting a lot of uh, uh, static and I'm getting it basically all in the right channel. I'm, I'm getting my voice in the left channel and then just static in the right, which sounds like a connection problem. Uh, because they give you a, um, they give you a, do, 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 um, one eighth inch to USB adapter so that you can put the, uh, the mini USB into the GoPro and then connect your, your analog, uh, microphone into the, uh, into the adapter. And I have a feeling somewhere along there, there's a connection issue because like I said, I shouldn't be getting static. So what I'll do in post is I'll just kind of transfer the left channel to the right and 
kind of get a fake stereo that way. Uh, and then, uh, but I've got one on order. Whoa, something large just hit my helmet. That's incredible. Huh, okay. Uh, so, we shall see. Uh, the, ne the one coming in tomorrow is a, uh, is, you know, actually comes with a uh, mini USB connector on the end of it. And I realize it's just, it's just a, uh, am I getting rained on? What is, what is this? What is, I don't know if I'm getting rained on. Doesn't look like rain. Anyway, um, but I realize that has to have a, an eighth inch to a USB adapter in there somewhere. It's an analog microphone and uh, it's a digital output. So somewhere there's got to be a little adapter there. <coughs> Guys, I think we could go around, can't we? I know I could. Okay, now is a bad time, but... Hmm. Oh, one thing that I wanted to uh, say also about this GoPro is... <laughs> uh, and and it's, it makes it a little bit awkward, is that with the drift, it's meant to be mounted on the side of your helmet, and therefore it's... it's uh, and, and the way that it, it the form factor is... It, it kind of uh, it kind of allows you to twist the lens and therefore straighten out the view. So if it's on the side of your helmet, it might be at an angle like that, and you can just twist the lens and make it a straight view, like what you've seen in my vlogs. And that's wonderful. It's it's very low profile. It doesn't appear like anything is screwy about it. With the GoPro. It, you can't really twist that view. It has to be, you know, the camera is a block, and if the top of that block is level, then your view is level. Here's the problem, though. Uh, ever since I was a young kid, I've had scoliosis, and my head goes, but off to the right a little bit. Well, when I do, <laughs> if I mount the GoPro straight on the helmet, then what you guys see is this. Maybe not that pronounced, but, but so what I've had to do is turn the GoPro a little bit so it looks crooked on the helmet by just a little bit, but hopefully it'll actually straighten out the view. We'll see when I when I get to where I'm going here, I'll take a look at the video. I look forward to being back. Whatever I just said, I think it so sounded like being back. That's what I was hoping for, but it didn't quite come out that way. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this camera and the view and, uh, and, and the positioning. I know you're looking, well, I know, I should just clean the windshield, right? That would actually help a lot. Since I don't look through it, I never clean it, so. Anyway, guys, I shall talk to you later, and thanks for watching.